Hello, in this video we're going to look at using the Canvas Studio to do some screencasting um, so that we can share our uh, portfolio and any projects. And in that sharing we can, you know, let other people know what our project does and how to get to it and so forth. So let's give this a try. Uh, first of all, we will start by identifying this is the Canvas Studio area. I'm currently in here as in student mode, so you know hopefully this will be what you see. I know that in using Canvas Studio the first time, you'll probably be prompted to install uh, a Chrome extension, uh, so you'll want to be aware of that. But this video will walk you through just the mechanics of getting the screencast going and then getting to your project and showing it off a little bit. All right, before you start, um, be sure you have your portfolio ready here and you've identified the project that you want to share and you're ready to start clicking on buttons so that you can show this project off, how it works, and, and so forth. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is um, Looking, find the studio icon, and this will get you into the Canvas area where you can make videos. And you can use this to make webcam videos using your camera or screencast. And, oh, sorry, we want to click on record here. We want to do a screen capture because we're going to just walk through some of the work that we've done for our portfolio and capstone. And it's entirely up to you what you want to show off, but try to show off what you did in order to satisfy requirements. Um, and that will help, you know, for users to see kind of what the focus of your work was. But if you look at this, you have this tool, and we're set on screen recording. You can see that there's it's capturing my voice. Um, there is a an area around the, that I can shape, I can drag and to, to set the stage for my recording. So I'm going to have it encompass my uh, window, my browser window. And then um, when I'm ready, I can click on this record button. Now I'm in Camtasia making a recording of this, so I apologize if there's any odd effects due to that, but I'm just trying to point out some of the tools here that you can use. So if you click on this record button, then we'll be recording on this screencast. And we'll take a look at how that works. So I click on that. We get a countdown, go, OK, now we're recording for the Canvas Studio. And at this point, you would go over to your portfolio. And you're, you, know, you can talk about your portfolio a little, point out anything that you want on that. Um, and then go to your capstone. Here I've got this app called Photos. I've got view code. I've got live code. And so um, I could start with either one uh, with my view code, take me to my GitHub. I might go in and talk about the technology that I use. So I'm using vanilla JS and I created a camera class for WebRTC. You know, I might point out my um, my readme. Oh, my readme there is going to provide instructions for um, what this can do, what the functionality is, and some references on this technology. Uh, so then uh, I might just say, OK, at this point, let me show you how this works. And so I have this app. And it is, you know, I might point out that it is set up to be um, responsive. So if I get this, you know, just using dev tools, I can kind of show what it looks like in responsive mode. So if I was if I was on a on a mobile, this is what it would look like. And the functionality is I have a start and stop so they just kind of turn on and off my camera. And you might notice the red light on your camera going on and off when you do this. This app actually requires you to allow the camera. So the first time you run it you need to turn it on. So I might mention that. Um, I could take a snapshot, and that is putting a, a snapshot of what I'm doing here onto um, a Canvas tag, which I can then download. So I could click on the download and get a download. 
Um, if I'm on mobile, I would have a couple of selections. I could look at making a selfie. I happen to have this hooked up to Cloudinary so that I could upload it. And when I upload it, this is my specific account, so you probably wouldn't want to upload it there, but you would might the picture goes up and it puts it in this gallery. So I can kind of walk through all of that and then I might refer back to my code and say, yes, um, you know, the index HTML I'm using um, a skeleton, which is a very tiny, tiny framework for CSS. And, you know, I've got some fairly simple uh, JavaScript here. I've got a, a main, which if I look at this, I'm just, you know, initializing my camera, setting up my um, DOM elements, and then instantiating a new camera with them and then setting up some event listeners and um, just getting that all going. So that's how I can kind of walk through this. Um, I'm going to turn this off now and close that down. And so that's basically what I might talk. You know, you might also want to show, um, you might want to show how you set up Google Analytics for this and how that might be working. You might want to show how you you might want to run you know Lighthouse and show that you've got you know you've covered your accessibility, so that's kind of how that all works. And then when you're all done making your recording, you just click this pause down here, okay, and then you could click on done. And what's going to happen now is you can enter a title, so I could say capstone sharing, and you know share my portfolio. And capstone. This is um, going to go into Canvas now, and then we would say upload, and it is going to upload. Okay, I am going to now pause. Um, well, this is actually going pretty quickly, so let's just let this upload. Yeah, you know, it could sometimes take a few minutes. It's uploading it to Canvas now, so this is not going out to YouTube or anything, but I think that there are options if you wanted to put it on your own YouTube channel to move it out there. But for our purposes, I think we, we want to get it up here on Canvas, and then you'll see that there is a way to get a sharing link from Canvas. And that would be the link that you would post along with your final project URLs. So it's a complete package of your code, where it's running, those two URLs, and then a link to a video. Okay, so our update was successful. And let's just see if we have any videos here. There's the video that we just made. It's processing now, so there's two parts to any of these video creation. One is the upload and then the other is the sharing. Um, and then I can go, it's still processing here, it's almost done. Uh, it will create a random thumbnail and there is the ability in Studio to create your own thumbnail. So if you have a picture that you wanted to do, but you can see here it's ready to take go. A look at okay. It. okay. And then um, there is a place here for you to share it. So uh, here's, we can go here and click on share, create a public link and grab this link. You could also do an iframe if you wanted to share it in a, in, in a web page. But let's create this, let's get this link here. And then what I would do, I'm still logged in as, um, you know, as a student. Uh, I will go back to my course, let's see. So let's see, we're gonna actually have to go back through the dashboard here. Get back into 4030, let's see. Again, I'm logged in as a student right now. Um, and the final assignment would be the portfolio sharing, I think. Let's see, that's gonna be and share portfolio so this will be oh sorry that's portfolio we want to share the capstone oh that's coming there we are share capstone projects so in this project um 
Oh, that will be the discussion sharing. Sorry, uh, we want to get to capstone delivery, final delivery. So this is where you're submitting your final assignment. This is um, worth a lot of credit. And here's the rubric. So we'll, we'll talk about that more in, in the welcome videos. Um, but we would go into submit assignment and I could paste this video and then I could also, you know, paste my capstone video, which would, or my capstone links, which would be the live code here. So I'll just, this is my, got my DNS name on it. And then I can grab my GitHub code. And I can post that there. And then I might answer a few of these questions too as part of the requirements. All right, so looks like I got that twice. Uh, yep. All right, so the, that would be constitute, and I'll submit that. And that would constitute the final delivery. All right, well, I hope that helps. And um, please ask questions. Um, on Slack if you, if you need more information. Thank you.